we've come back with a stronger squad than we finished with in, uh, in May in Baku, and uh, I'm excited to see what this group can do. Understanding as the second half unfolded of that match, um, and understood, understanding the position that we were in and kind of some of our targets as we headed into the summer from a, from a transfer standpoint, um, we had to rethink some of our strategy because we, didn't, we knew we wouldn't have Champions League football and uh, certain, certain players, you know, to attract those type of talents, um, that's what they're after. I'm not going to share any details, but you know, going into the summer we knew we were going to have instruments in place that were going to allow us to be aggressive and they weren't going to be dependent upon sales. You know, these guys went out, they worked their magic, and I'm, I'm happy to have them on our side. Even though we weren't in a position of strength coming out of Baku, um, I think there's a few people that were caught off guard by the, that, that Arsenal Football Club still has the aura that it does, and we're excited to keep pushing that now and into the future. Uh, he's thrilled. I think he's, he's only excited. I know that that term has probably been worn out this summer, but we're all very excited. I think that you know the hard part is staying patient and understanding that we're putting plans in place that are gonna unfold over the next several years. Challenging for the Premier League title is always our goal. Based on the strength of our league, which is the greatest in the world, if you're competing for the Premier League title, you're competing elsewhere for, for other silverware as well. Whether that's the Premier League title, whether that's the FA Cup, whether that's European silverware, we want to go for it all. I think he's doing a great job, has done a great job, and is doing a great job. Turning the page from such a legendary manager and figure as Arsene, not only at Arsenal, but in European football. Um, it was always going to be a difficult page to turn, and I think that as a club, we've We've turned it as elegantly as we could. Unai's daily approach um, is fantastic. I mean, he's, he's out there on the pitch, he's, he's working, he's watching video, he's communicating, and his daily energy um, and devotion to his work is fantastic, and it's exactly what we need. Being here, you know, on match day is, it gets me the chills even just thinking about it. But to know that the supporters were united behind our, our group would be a very powerful thing. And I think that this is a group they can really get behind. Trust is earned over time, and I would love for you to trust me now, but unfortunately that trust has to play out over the next several years. And uh, we're just getting started, and hopefully we'll start to earn more and more trust uh, the more and more work we put in. Uh, if I'm in Los Angeles, um, I'll usually at least go downstairs because my girlfriend will kill me if uh, I turn that game on at 4.30 in the morning. Whether it's 4.30 a.m., 6 a.m., 10 a.m., or early afternoon for, for an evening kick here, um, I'm usually pretty, pretty vocal. Um, my dogs get a little scared. Uh, if something goes wrong, I'm, I'm, I'm yell. I, I yell a little bit. When I'm here at the Emirates, I'm a little more reserved. I think that, that, that's a good thing to, to show. <laughs> um, but I mean, the passion comes out in all, in all different ways. Football was my first love. And now to be over here at the highest level um, and to be involved with it is, I have to pinch myself sometimes.